Hello everybody, my name is 128 Bytes. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Um, today, I want to talk about some recent purchases I made um, using the money from my work. And I want to talk about how I plan on trying to make my life more private online. Um, which means like trying to reduce my fingerprint online, my like a digital fingerprint, if you will. Like I don't want people to be able to trace me online. You know, I want to have like social media that people could look up. I um, mean, you know, those sort of things. Um, so I'm going to start off the video by saying that um, I think that privacy is kind of a, necess a necessity in like a modern age of sur digital surveillance and people always trying to like big tech companies and the government trying to get into your data and see what you like. Like, for instance, the government does, doesn't need to know what kind of porn I like. It doesn't need to know, you know, what I like to watch on YouTube, for instance. Like, things like that, the government or big tech companies don't need to know, in my opinion, at least. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of go over some things that I'm getting. Obviously, you can tell right here, I already have the page up here, but uh, Graphene OS is a probably one of the best operating systems for Android phones. Um, that basically comes with security and it's very hardened and very hard for people to uh, break into and get access to your data if you set it up correctly and you have the proper um, futures and stuff enabled. But there's things like LTE only mode, like there's sandbox Google Play. There's a bunch of you know mitigations for different attacks and stuff on their software stack and uh there's auto reboot features so you could automatically reboot after let's say anywhere between 10 minutes and 72 hours so you could set it to autumn your you know your phone to automatically reboot to the before um unlock state or whatever um before first unlock state um so that way it's like harder to break into there's like certain things like that like a duress pin where you could basically set a pin like let's say to your birthday or for, or something and you could set your pin to your birth, the, your duress pin or password to your birthday, for instance. So like you could do like, I don't know, just as an example, like 0101, you know, like 00 for like January 1st, 2000 or something as an example. That's not my birthday, but that's just a rough example. You could set your pin to something like that. And then whenever you are forced, like the government or a law enforcement agency forces you to enter your pin, you could enter in that pin and it would completely wipe your entire phone pretty much and make any like data that you had on there um, pretty much useless because it's all gone to the authorities pretty much. So you could do something like that. There's, you know, more secure fingerprint unlock. Like there's a bunch of stuff on here, user profiles, lots of different good features for privacy and security. And the phone I'm getting for this is the Google Pixel 9a. Um, this phone looks pretty cool. I think, uh, it has some cool specs like, uh, a 6.3 inch act actual display, 20 by nine aspect ratio, 1920 or I mean not 1920, but 1080 by 2424 PO LED at 422.2 PPI smooth display with 60 to 120 Hertz dynamic refresh rate, refresh, Jesus, refresh rate. God, I'm like stutter sorry my words this is bad um corning gorilla glass cover through or corning jesus corning gorilla glass three cover glass um up to 1800 nits hdr and up to 2700 nits peak brightness a 1 million to one contrast ratio hdr support for, and all this stuff there's like all this you know stuff in here 30 plus hour battery life all that stuff very cool um, so that's what I'm going to be using for Graphene OS. Um, I'll be flashing it to the phone when it gets here. But, um, there's also the Iron Thor, which I'm, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I do plan on actually getting this just for like retro gaming, um, on the go and like the ability to basically play like, I don't know. I feel like today there's like a lot of negative stuff on social media that I see and like, I kind of want to get away from that. So that's probably why I'm planning on deleting a lot of my social medias and stuff like that is because I want to see all that stuff. And this will also kind of help me with that because I'll just kind of be able to get away from all that doom scrolling and stuff and be able to, I don't know, just enjoy some old, good old retro gaming on the go. And the nice thing about this uh, handheld is it fits perfectly in your pocket. So 
unlike a Steam Deck, for instance, which you can't really pocket. It's kind of good. It's made for this, so you could pocket it. It's pretty nice. Um, I got the purple version and the max 16 uh, gigabytes of RAM plus one terabyte version. Um, so that's what I got. And I should. I kind of wanted to get the black version because I thought it looked really cool. But I, I went with the purple. I think it'll still be good. I'm not worried about it. But and then as the last product that I'm getting that's coming in the mail soon is obviously you know it's a pr there's a pretty much a whole entire cult around these types of laptops. But you guys probably know what I'm talking about. It's the ThinkPad. Um, I got a ThinkPad T480s laptop. Um, and it, you know, it's famous because it comes with the nub and it also has grit and, it, and a lot of people say that these laptops have absolutely superior typing. Like the keys on them just are super nice. They work really well. Um, and it's great for running Linux. So I'm going to probably install Linux, Arch Linux on here on this laptop when I get it, but I'll make, I'll make sure to make like review videos on all the stuff I get in the mail. Um, for the phone and like show the process of installing graphene OS on the pixel phone and all that stuff But I'll show all that in a future video as well as the iron Thor and The laptop when it comes which you know, I spent all my money on from work. So It'll be worth I think it's in my opinion a worthy investment just to secure my privacy online in a digital age like this um but yeah, that's that's probably gonna sum up this video. If you guys did enjoy, uh, make sure to leave a thumbs up. I mean, it's just kind of like an update video, like why I haven't uploaded in a while. It's because I've been working a lot. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'll title this video probably some. I'll come up with something. But if you, uh, I'll make sure to you know make videos on these products in the future and kind of give them a little review, I guess, videos for each of them. But uh, yeah, it'll be cool. Um, if you guys enjoy the content, I uh, appreciate a subscription. It really helps out the channel a lot. You get to subscribe. Um, we're already at, by the way, I wanna say a massive thank you because we recently hit like 219 subscribers, which just kind of blew, blew my mind a little bit. I was not expecting to get that many subscribers off of just like a few videos that I uploaded. So I wanna give a massive thank you to everyone who subscribed to the channel and I will be making a lot more videos going into the future, so make sure to stay tuned for that. And yeah, this is 128 Bytes, signing off. Goodbye, everyone.